that's open heart surgery, and that is generating and creating bypasses around the blockages. For the bypasses, we use either vein out of your leg, an artery that runs under your breastbone, or sometimes an artery out of your wrist. A coronary artery bypass grafting takes about four to six hours. Um, uh, the first hour or so of the procedure involves getting the patient off to sleep, uh, placing appropriate monitoring lines, including an IV in the neck, as well as um, uh, blood pressure monitoring in the wrist, um, and uh, a Foley catheter into the bladder. Um, once the patient gets uh, uh, fully lined up and uh, we then position the patient and uh, uh, sterilely prep uh, the, uh, the chest for surgery. The standard incision for uh, coronary artery bypass grafting is an incision uh, about the length of the breastbone right in the middle of your chest from, uh, uh, from the uh, top to the bottom of the, of the breastbone. Um, and this is the sternal bone is divided with a saw and then put back together with titanium wires at the end of the operation. The uh, next hour or so is typically in, uh, involved procuring and preparing the conduits, whether that's the internal mammary artery, the radial artery, uh, or the vein out of the leg. And then um, the next two to three hours uh, involves the heart-lung machine, stopping the heart, sewing the bypasses, and then restarting the heart and removing the bypass machine and, uh, and closing up the patient's chest. And that is how uh, standard car uh, coronary artery bypass grafting is performed. Now, at some institutions, including ours, for patients uh, who are good candidates that only need uh, one bypass to the main artery on the front of the heart, uh, we do perform robotic-assisted minimally invasive coronary bypass surgery, which involves uh, uh, using the robot uh, in order to dissect the uh, left internal mammary artery off of the left breastbone without having to open the chest, and then making a small incision between the ribs uh, on the left side of the chest in order to perform the anastomosis without the use of the heart-lung machine. Um, this is a procedure that we have been performing here for several years and have very good outcomes. Um, but is not um, an option for every patient and depends on your anatomy and your, um, uh, and your disease process. So when we're performing robotic, minimally invasive coronary artery bypass grafting, uh, we uh, make three small incisions on the left chest um, and then a, the surgeon sets at the uh, control for the robot. We bring the uh, robotic machine up onto the field and place the arms of the robot through the small incisions in your chest. The surgeon then controls the robot and uh, is able to dissect and safely prepare the left internal mammary artery um, using the robot as an assistant uh, to uh, perform that portion of the procedure.